Risotto, one of the simplest things to cook, one of the hardest things to master in the kitchen. And when I tell you I am going to turn you in to a three-star Michelin risotto master, I'm going to. First thing we're gonna do, put a few teaspoons of olive oil into a pan. And before it gets hot, hot, add our shallots. Add a few pinches of chili flake. Add a little bit of white pepper. Add a little bit of salt. All I wanna do is turn the shallots glassy. I don't wanna scorch the pepper. I don't wanna scorch the red chili flakes. I just want the barest amount of oil just to coat the bottom of my pan. And now I add my arborio rice. I'm not toasting the rice. I'm just glazing it and heating it through. When the rice is starting to become aromatic, add your white wine. And we're going to let that simmer until it's almost evaporated. I have eight cups of chicken stock. One of the first things that I want to do while that's starting to boil is to take a few teaspoons of my hot stock and pour it over my saffron. When we pour it in, we will evenly distribute that saffron flavor. I'm being very slow and patient and intentional with this because that is the secret to great risotto. And I'm not gonna add stock until I see more of that rice tighten up. I don't want all of my liquid to disappear. I just wanna get a little more tighter. So all I'm gonna do is add a few ladles of stock. Every time we add liquid, we can stir it 10, 15% less. The rice just keeps cooking every time I add more liquid. And at this point, I can add my saffron. Look at how creamy that liquid is. When I drag my spoon through, you can see the bottom of the pan before the liquid rushes back in there. And that's what we're looking for. We wanna keep adding liquid little by little so that the rice is dumping its starch out into that liquid and then absorbing that starchy liquid and it will give it a wonderful texture when it's finally cooked. I don't want this to get bone dry. So now I'm gonna add another cup and a half or so of stock. And you can actually see now that our rice grains are plumper. Look at that liquid that's coming off there, how starchy that is. That's what you wanna see. And you see how every time I add liquid, I keep coming back to the same place where the rice has absorbed the liquid, but you can see that there's a sauce surrounding all the individual kernels. And every four or five minutes, let's taste our rice. Let's see what happens when it absorbs that last cup and a quarter of liquid that I put in. And the rice, because we're going slowly, is becoming uniformly more tender. Look at how perfect those rice grains look. And look at the sauce on the knife. Do you see the way it slides down? That's what you wanna see. Some peas, some cheese. Always add your cheese before you taste for salt seasoning because it always adds a little bit of saltiness. I just want all seven ingredients to be in complete harmony with each other. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, a tablespoon of butter. And all that butter does is it just amps up the creaminess. This is how risotto should be on the plate. Mm, that's perfect.